Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about Meniere's disease. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Okay, what is Meniere's disease? Meniere's disease is actually a disorder of the inner ear. In Meniere's disease, the endolymphatic system is distended with endolymph. For your information, the endolymph is secreted by the tria vascularis, it fills the membranous labyrinth and it is absorbed through the endolymphatic sac. The exact cause of Meniere's disease is not yet known. What is the pathology of Meniere's disease? In Meniere's disease, there is distension of endolymphatic system due to increased volume of endolymph. In Meniere's disease, the cochlear duct dilates and completely fills the scalar vestibule. There is also marked bulging of placeness membrane. What is the etiology of Meniere's disease? Meniere's disease can be caused due to increased production of endolymph or decreased absorption of endolymph. This can result from either defective absorption due to defect in the endolymphatic sac, foot or inhalant allergy due to autoimmune process, due to a viral infection, especially herpes group of viruses, due to stress, sodium and water retention, and hypothyroidism. What are the clinical features of Meniere's disease? The four cardinal features of Meniere's disease are vertigo, hearing loss, tinnitus, and oral fillings. The vertigo is episodic and it is sudden in onset. The hearing loss is fluctuating and lower frequencies are affected in the early stages of Meniere's disease. The tinnitus is low pitched and is of roaring type. Oral fullness is nothing but a sense of fullness or pressure in the ear. It is very important that you remember these four cardinal features of Meniere's disease. Examination of a case of Meniere's disease. Tuning fork test. Relay test will be positive. Weber test will be lateralized to the better ear. Absolute bone conduction will be reduced in the affected ear. Nystagmus can be noticed during acute attack of Meniere's disease. Investigations in a case of Meniere's disease. Pure tone audiometry. There will be rising type of curve will be seen in pure tone audiometry. Speech audiometry. Discrimination score is less. Electrocochleography. SP by AP ratio is greater than 30%. Caloric test. Reduced response on the affected ear. Glycerol test. Improvement in audiogram after intake of glycerol is seen. There are some special audiometry tests to diagnose Meniere's disease. Several measures of treatment in a case of Meniere's disease are reassurance to the patient, the patient should be advised to stop smoking, decreased salt intake, reduced intake of coffee, tea and alcohol, avoid stress, avoid activities requiring good body balance like working at greater rates. How will you treat an acute attack of Meniere's disease? Sorry. Give reassurance to the patient, advise bed rest to the patient, give vestibular sedatives like dimenidinate, promethazine theoclate, prochlorperazine, thiasperm, atropine, etc. either intramuscularly or intravenously to the patient. Give vasodilators like inhalation of carbogen or histamine drip to the patient. In this slide, we will see about the medical management of chronic phase of Meniere's disease. We will give vestibular sedatives like prochlorperazine to the patient. We will advise vasodilators like beta histamine and nicotinic acid. Diuretics like furosemide. Propantherine bromide can also be given to the patient. The patient should be advised to avoid aller allergens. Hypothyroidism, if any, should be corrected. Intratympanic gentamicin therapy is another mode of treatment for Meniere's disease. It is also known as chemical labyrinthectomy. In this, we inject gentamicin into the inner ear. As we all know, gentamicin is an antibiotic. It has ototoxic properties. So, this will affect the vestibular component and therefore provide relief from the symptoms of Meniere's disease. Surgical management. Surgical management can be divided into three types. Conservative procedures, destructive procedure and intermittent low pressure pulse therapy. Conservative procedures, the vestibular component is destroyed and the cochlear component is preserved. For example, uh, compression of decompression of endolymphatic sac, 
इंडोलिम्फेटिक शंत ऑपरेशन साइक्लोटमी सेक्शन ऑफ फेस्टिवल नर्व अल्ट्रासोनिक डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ फेस्टिवल लैबरेंट डिस्ट्रक्टिव प्रोसीजर बोथ काकलियर एंड फेस्टिवल फंक्शन आर डिस्ट्रॉइड एग्जाम्पल कंप्लीट लैबरेंटेक्टमी There is also another mode of treatment called intermittent low pressure pulse therapy using a device called mini-aid device. Thank you.